Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to come on here and show you this beautiful, beautiful view once again and let you hear the peaceful sounds of nature. And I wanted to thank you all with all of my heart for all your prayers and your love and your support. Um, God is touching me each day and I am so thankful for that. And I could never thank you enough for your prayers. I wanted to share <clears throat> a scripture with you all that had been coming to me through this and stuck out to me um, through one of my devotions the other day. You know, we could we could go and read our devotions every day and think, oh, that was good. You know, this will get me through the day. And then we kind of just forget about it. And we go on with our busy lives and um, we allow the world to cloud our minds. Um, but this scripture just keeps coming out to me. And it's Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So let me read that once again. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And that stuck out to me so strong because through going through the virus, I had a lot of fears and my mind was tormented about a lot of things. And every time I pulled up social media or listened to the news, those things got worse. And I would focus on the carnal things. I would focus on the world's voice. And it was really bringing me down. And when I come across this scripture, it spoke to me so strong because the Bible simply says, he will keep those in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. And it's hard in this world to keep our minds focused and to find peace. But we have to remember that as Christians, we are to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. Daily, we are to crucify our flesh. And part of crucifying our flesh is staying in God's Word. That is the only thing that's going to help us. And listening for God's voice and not the voices of this world. Let me read that again. To be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. So I encourage you today to not go to your social media, not go to the news but to wake up and to first go to your Lord and Savior. Go to His Word. Create that atmosphere of peace in your mind to start the day and start rebuking the lies of the enemy. I just wanted to share that to give somebody some encouragement because if we allow ourselves to stay carnally minded, anxiety is going to hit stronger than ever and we have to rebuke that i wanted to share a song also that goes along with this scripture and it came to me when i read a little bit after i read the scripture and i was like how perfect and it's an old hymn but your popular groups like third day and lauren daigle are singing it now so i just wanted to share the words with you turn your eyes upon jesus Look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. O soul, are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see. There's light for a look at the Savior and life more abundant and free. Through death into life everlasting, he passed and we follow him there. Over us sin no more hath dominion, for more than conquerors we are. O oh, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. His word shall not fail you, he promised. Believe him and all will be well. Then go to a world that is dying, his perfect salvation to tell. 
Oh, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. So I wanted to encourage you, keep your eyes focused on Jesus. And the things of this world will not matter. No matter what you go through, keep your eyes on Jesus. And remember, our mission is to get as many to heaven with us as possible. I hope you have a very blessed day.